just Alex Puckett now from our Birmingham affiliate WIAT tracking Hurricane Fiona for us tonight. Alex. Natasha, Fiona is still a Category 1 hurricane at this point. As of the latest advisory, pressure at 984 millibars, sustained winds at 85 millibars. It's still moving north and west at 9 miles an hour. Now, the center of Fiona is now between Puerto Rico and the island of Hispaniola, but Puerto Rico not out of the woods here. The flooding is the biggest threat and still heavy rains in some of these outer bands, especially from San Juan, Guayama, and points east in the island. So flooding will continue to be an issue with Fiona as we head through the evening across the island of Puerto Rico. The good news for the U.S. mainland is this is going to continue to turn off to the north and east away from the mainland of the United States, so no direct impacts to the continental United States from Fiona. We do have some active weather across the country along and ahead of this cold front here that's in Iowa right now. Tornado watch for southern Iowa, northern Missouri, and western Illinois this evening, and you can see storms already starting to develop across southern Iowa right now. In fact, one of these storms here here, prompting a tornado warning for Davis County, Iowa. This goes until 745 area of rotation near Bloomfield, and that'll be moving along Highway uh, 2 towards Pulaski over the next few minutes. These storms continue to push south and east this evening. This will be an overnight event into Illinois and Indiana. More heavy storms likely east of the Great Lakes as we head into the day tomorrow. Those probably not as severe, but still some gusty storms possible. So the pattern here, despite the fact we kick off fall, on Thursday is very much summer like for much of the United States with many spots in the 90s and even triple digits over the next three days. Natasha. All right. Thank you so much.